episode four. So today you find me stood inside one of the UK's largest purpose-built wood kilns. Now we've had these kilns in for about four months now. They've been running for about four months. Today's the grand opening. So we're a little bit behind the schedule. We're sort of in the wrong order really. But this is the earliest day we could do to get everybody here that we wanted for the opening. So what I want to do is this video is going to be all about the opening. It's going to be a bit of a shorter video. And then what I'm going to do in another video is go back, revisit this kill. I'm going to talk about it more in detail, about the build process, about why we've gone for this kill. Um, and sort of answer all those sorts of questions about what makes it so good at dried our wood. So I've just stepped outside the kiln, just so I don't have to shout at my camera. It's currently about 7 in the morning. Uh, the weather isn't the greatest at the minute, so the grand opening's at 11, so I'm really hoping by 11 the weather's sort of dried up. It is looking like it should do. We've got the guys that installed this kiln coming up as well. Uh, a company's called Glen Farrer. Uh, they're going to do an interview with me as well, so I'm going to post a bit of that on here as well. And then we're just going to show the video of the opening. We've got the local MP politician coming. He's going to open it for us. He helped us actually a lot in the planning process of getting this, getting this kiln across the line. So he was really happy to come out. He's going to open it and it's going to be a great day. So the guys here are actually just refilling it as we speak. So he dropped this morning. The next cycle of wood's going in, which is what you can sort of see to the side of me here. That's all ready to go in the kiln this morning. But basically this kiln empties about every five or six days at the moment. So we go through a cycle every five or six days. At the moment, in each side, so there's two sides of this kiln, we're drying about 200 cube at a time in each side. So that in total around 400 cube. Now we can get more in it, but what we find at the minute is if we leave more space in between the cages, so we get, the, we get less in, but we dry much quicker. Um, so that seems to be working for us, and that seems to be the system we're going with at the moment. So I'm gonna jump on and give the guys here a hand load in it. And then we're gonna join back, hopefully in about four hours time when the weather's dried up, and we can get this kiln open. So we've all, always dried our own wood on site, but over the, over the years as we've grown as a business, we've had to uh, dry a lot of wood off-site. In fact, at one point we were drying 70% of our wood off-site. Um, which is fine, but it incurred extra costs um, and all the logistics of that. The main goal of our business is to produce a really good quality product. We want to create an affordable product, but also the best quality product we can. And this kiln facilitates that. Thanks for inviting me. This is absolutely fantastic. I can assure you it's a lot warmer in here than what it is out there. And it's great. This is showing that businesses in Morgan and Louisville have been very, very well indeed and expand the whole thing. Thank you very much for I'd love to get out. I'd love to come to the countryside. Thanks. If we're officially open. So our new kiln is officially open. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Now I'm not really answering any questions on it, but I just wanted to get this video out there with the opening on it. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.